all camps. All camps, man. Y'all seen, y'all seen our brothers at WFI, the Watchmen, get attacked by them Palestinians in, in, in Chicago. I'm calling all camps to pull up this Saturday, man. This weekend, man, round two, goddamn. You know what I'm saying? We need to stand by our brothers and pull up. We finna pull up, all right? And we, we want round two. We want the smoke with the Palestinians, with the Israelis, calling all camps. We finna pull up. We finna pull up for our brothers at Watchmen. We finna pull up for our brothers at Watchmen. And and, and 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 we going in, goddamn. We going in. I need I need about an hour and a half to, to flame them bastards. I need an hour and a half speaking time. I'm telling you that right now. We need all the brothers, all the camps to line up. I'm calling, I'm calling all camps. All camps. We need to be on that front line with our brothers at Watchmen. For Israel, shout out to Naquam, shout out to Amos, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Isaiah, Azariah, shout out to our brothers, man. We need to pull up in Chicago this weekend, Saturday, round two, goddamn. Round two, we pulling up for our brothers, man. HOI gonna be in the building, most high willing, we finna pull up. Round two, it's crunch time, it's fourth quarter. If you're scared to shoot the ball, pass it to a to pass it to a clutch shooter. You dig what I'm saying? Ball boots on the ground. That's right. They violated. They violated. I'm watching all the videos. I'm watching all the videos. All of our brothers, whoever can make it, we pulling up this weekend. You know what I'm saying? This weekend, Chicago. That park, whatever that park is called. Somebody put it in the chat. Somebody put that park in the chat. We finna pull up HOI Chicago, HOI Georgia. We finna pull up, the pull up boys is pulling up. And if you pull up to this, you are honorary pull up boy. No matter what camp you are. Okay, we finna get it. That's All right. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rahaha Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, pushing this doctrine of truth to the elect of the nation of Israel, who were scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, pursuant to the uh, curses of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. All right, this is uh, Chief Ephraim here, as you can see, as you witnessed. Um, watching this this clip of a video that was done by the beloved elder Manata Zakba out of uh, GMS South Carolina um, you know we're all doing lessons uh, or responses to this dude's video you know he's trying to implore Israelites to go back out there to Chicago where there was a little uh, melee last week to go out there and sort of pick up where they left off with the so-called Palestinians out there. Now that is trouble. I mean that what he's trying to do is try trying to uh, incite violence, and um, that's going to be a black eye for the ministry. That's going to draw negative attention. We're already demonized as is. Okay, as a hate group. You know what do you think this is going to do? If uh, the Hebrew Israelites descend on Chicago again and and start a you know a pick up where we left pick up where they left off, I ain't gonna say we because I had nothing to do with it and none of the brothers from GMS endorse that that savagery. Okay, that's carnal behavior and uh, we don't we don't endorse that at all. Okay, so let me get my first scripture here because you heard what he said. I mean he's very very carnal. And he's of the world. Okay, we're not going to get anywhere by taking matters into our own hands. This is the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 6, verse 3. And it reads, giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed. 
but in all things approving ourselves as the ministers of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh in much patience and afflictions and necessities and distresses. Okay? So we don't want to blame or have the ministry be blamed for foolishness, for violence. Okay? Because we're under a microscope. All right? We know that the devil, Esau, Edom, is going to come down on us with great wrath. So that's inevitable. But this is fueling those, those flames. Okay? And we know, like I said, we're going to be persecuted. All right? We're going to be persecuted in the media. We're going to be persecuted by law enforcement. You know, it's, it's prophesied to happen. But we don't want to, uh, like I said, we don't want to draw any unnecessary attention to ourselves. Okay? The attention that we're trying to draw to ourselves is the attention from preaching the word by being out there on the highways and hedges by prophesying the downfall of Babylon the Great and the wicked two thirds that are joined hand in hand with the devil with these Edomites, okay? And Chief Ephraim and those uh, Israelites that think like him are just as carnal as Esau Edom is. And if you're carnal, you're going to be destroyed, okay? So, as ministers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We got to approve ourselves, okay, through patience. We got to be patient. When we see stuff like that taking place, uh, you know, heathens descending on our people. Now, if we're in the mix, if we're out there and, and they aggress on us, now, yeah, we're well within our right to defend ourselves. But nowhere in the scriptures does it say we're supposed to go out there looking for trouble, okay? Vengeance is the Lord's. He's going to fight our battles, Okay? And uh, I should title this, entitle this, Chief Ephraim, we are waiting on Yahawashai to shoot the ball. Because he's our clutch shooter. Now he just said in the video, if you guys are afraid to, to shoot the ball, then pass it to a clutch shooter. Meaning that someone who's out there that's willing to take action physically. Why in the world would we do that? You know, knowing, like I said, we're being closely scrutinized by these devils, by these heathens, right? And it's going to draw unnecessary attention to us. So what we need to do is be patient, trust that Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai is going to resolve this. And he is, by way of his son, okay? He's going to fight our bowers and, uh, power, uh, battles, Salakia. And when he comes, he's going to give us that spiritual power at which time we will then be able to uh, assist in, in taking down these strongholds from these heathens, the Edomites in particular. Okay? We're supposed to show or approve ourselves in our afflictions. Okay? The things that are going bad in our lives. All right? That's a part of our walk, part of the affliction. Okay? We're supposed to prove ourselves, show our patience, you know, long suffering, right? Through our distresses. Okay? And this is no different. I don't understand these knuckleheads, man. I mean, they're just of the world. So that's what's to be expected. Let's go to the book of Exodus chapter 23, verse 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. And that would be evil because the Heavenly Father doesn't want carnality to be a part of this walk. Okay, carnality is of the flesh. We're supposed to walk in the spirit. Okay, do everything that Yahawashai did when he was on this earth. Okay, now he said that my kingdom is not of this world. And I'm roughly paraphrasing. If this was his kingdom, then he would fight and he would have his soldiers, the elect of the nation of Israel with the angels, do so. Now, that's going to happen, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen when it's supposed to happen, when the Heavenly Father ordains it to happen. We know it's prophecy. We're not supposed to take matters in our own hands. We're going to get ourselves done in by these devils, okay? Neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. Okay, and this is self-explanatory, man. You're not supposed to follow a multitude to do evil. And if you're following WFI over there to Chicago, that's exactly what you're doing. You're following a multitude of Israelites to partake in evil that's going to cause the ministry to be blamed, okay? And, you, you know, you can risk getting shot, getting thrown in, in prison, 
Now, like I said, those things are going to happen to us, but it's going to happen because we're teaching and preaching the word, not because we're aggressing on a bunch of heathens and acting like a bunch of savages. Okay, let's go to the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 7, speaking of carnality. Because the carnal mind is enmity against Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, for it is not subject to the law of Yahweh. Neither indeed can be. All right. So then they that are of that are in the flesh cannot please Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. If you're walking in the flesh, you can't please the Lord. All right. And taking matters into your own hands by aggressing on a bunch of meaningless heathens that have absolutely nothing to do with the preaching of this word, where is that going to get you? Okay, because you're not going to please Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You're going to piss him off and he's going to judge you for it. Okay? Through these heathens. Through the epitome of the carnal, and that would be the Edomites. Because they're the wicked. Alright? Everything they do is carnal. Okay, let's go to um, the book of... Uh, Let's go to Proverbs. Okay, because if you're a prudent man, you should be able to see what this demon, Chief Ephraim, is trying to do. All right? I, I honestly believe and I agree with the uh, beloved Elder Manatez Akbar, as well as uh, the prophet Amawan Abad, that this dude is an agent, possibly. Okay, because, you know, he did reference the, uh, the small hats over there and said that we should, you know, take up we should have a beef with them. Now, we do through the Spirit, but it doesn't mean we're going to do anything physically to them. Yahweh Shai is going to do that. He's going to fight the battle. He's going to tell us when we can partake. All right? But that's when he's coming here on earth to establish the kingdom of heaven. Okay? Then we'll fight. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. We got to be prudent, okay? We have to be able to look and see the evil that's before us and use wisdom to learn how to deal with this, okay? And wisdom would tell us, hey, man, this is not a battle worth fighting, okay? This is ridiculous. I mean, that's, that's a no-brainer for those of us of the hopeful elect. That's not going to profit us anything, by uh, beating up a bunch of Palestinians, that's not going to profit us at all. Right? Our sole purpose and mission is to teach this gospel to the elect of the nation of our people. And that's it. On the highways and hedges and by way of YouTube and other, um, uh, other media platforms where we can disseminate this gospel. That's it. Okay? So we see the four evil, we hide ourselves and we avoid it. In general, okay? See, but the simple, Chief Ephraim, he's going to pass on and he's going to get punished through judgment by the Lord. The Lord's going to judge this Negro, okay? And the rest of those knuckleheads of WFI that think it's okay to go down there in, in Chicago and pick up where they left off with those, uh, you know, in their beef with the Palestinians. It's just, it's absurd. And like I said, no rational logical Israelite man is going to think that's okay. All right? I mean, we're not chumps. We're not punks. We can all defend ourselves. Okay? No, Lord knows I can, but I don't need to. I don't want to. That's your Hawashai's job. Okay? Until we get that spiritual power, then, you know, things will change drastically. Let's go to the book of Ephesians chapter 4, verse 26. Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Okay, it's okay for us to, to, to be angry at what's taking place. Our people being disenfranchised, our people being oppressed, our people being beat down, persecuted. Yeah, we can be angry. Okay, but we're, again, we're not going to take matters into our own hand. You have to understand the nature of the beast and what you're dealing with. Esau Edom is the epitome of carnal, or carnality. He's ruling the world. The earth was given into his hand. So what do we look like going up against this superpower, right, through the flesh and trying to take him out or trying to, you know, avenge anything? 
We're going to lose. We're going to lose badly. Okay? That's why it's important to be patient and wait on the Lord. All right? And we don't want that anger to go down or the sun to go down on our wrath, our anger. Okay? Just let it go. And, and rest assured that Yahawashai, when he comes, is going to avenge all these, these, uh, these transgressions or these evils from these heathens. All right? Get one more scripture and then we'll wrap it up. You know what? I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Anyway, I hope this was edifying. Um, again, we're not to follow a multitude to do evil. All right. I mean, this this shouldn't even be a question. As to whether or not we should go down there to support our brothers. No, man. If they ain't talking about the scriptures, if they're not talking about, you know, breaking down the scriptures or talking about prophecy, we should not. We should distance ourselves from it, remove ourselves from the folly because it's not going to do anything. It's not going to profit us. In fact, it's going to get us persecuted. OK, and you're going to see that because this devil is going to come down with great wrath. Okay, but we don't want a, a reason to do that prematurely. Okay, when he comes down with great wrath, it's, because, it's going to be because, it's going to be because of us teaching this word, just like we're doing right now. Okay, but they know that their kingdom is coming to an end. And the reason, you know, it's coming to an end is because we're, we're teaching this word. We're teaching this gospel. We're prophesying the downfall of Babylon the Great. OK, and Esau Edom's rulership. And that's it. That's it. So if we're going to give him a reason to move. That's why we're going to give him a reason to move on us. All right. With that, I want to say all praise, honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahaha Kudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, teaching this gospel of truth to the elect of the nation of Israel. Until next time, Shalom.